What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. So let's continue our discussion about Navisworks Manage 2022. So in this topic, I'm going to show you how to set selection resolution and how to use the link functionality in Navisworks. Okay, so let's first talk about setting the selection resolution. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from my home tab, so I'm going to open the selection tree. So yeah, I'm going to open that and then I'm going to move it here to the left side. Okay. All right. Okay. So you will notice every time you select an object in Navisworks. So like, for example, I'm going to uh, click this element here. So if I click that one, so notice that it highlights here my architecture.nwc. So why is it like that? So why is it suddenly it select the architecture dot NWC? So I'm going to click outside. So I only want to select this roof here. So if I click that one, instead it will select the whole architecture dot NWC. And if I'm going to click one of the MEP here, MEP element, for example, this one here, our equipment. So if I click that one, so you will notice instead of selecting this, it will actually select all the MEP.NWC elements in this building. So as you can see, all of the MEP are highlighted. So same with my architecture. So if I only want to select this um, equipment here, or I mean this structural element here. So if I click that one, it highlights all the structural or structure.NWC. So how is that? So you can control the way you select by setting your selection resolution, okay? So at the moment, the resolution that I'm working on right now is, or the set uh, selection resolution that I'm working right now is, if I'm going to select this one, you just need to right-click. So I'm going to right-click. So currently, it is set to file. So that's the reason why. So it's set to file. So it makes the object path start at the file level. So as a result, all objects at the current file level are selected. So in our case, the architecture.nwc. The other one here is set selection resolution to layer. So what does it do? So I'm going to click outside. So when you select that type, so it makes the object path start at the layer node as a result all objects within a layer are selected. So if I select, for example, um, this one here, this duct here. So there you go. So there is the layer there. So it's on the roof level layer. So if I select this uh, roof here, so that layer is on roof. Okay. So if I'm going to select one of the structural elements here, if I click this one, so as you can see, it highlights there the 0, 1 entry level layer. Okay, so another type of selection uh, resolution. So I'm going to click one object, right click. So let's try to use first object. Okay, so first object, I'm going to click outside. So I'm going to select again. So I'm going to click. There you go. So there's my first object. So it makes the object path start at the highest level of the objects below the layer node. So remember, our layer node is the, uh, in our case, the roof level here. So that's the layer node. So if you select the option, um, uh, first object, it makes the object path start where? Okay, so it will start at the highest level of objects below the layer node, if applicable. Now, the other one here is uh, last object. Last object, so I just click outside. So if I pick this one, so as you can see now, it highlights this one. So 5.7 square meters of coil. So last object selection resolution. So it makes the object path start at the lowest level of objects in the selection tree. So Autodesk Navisworks looks for, let's say, uh, composite objects first. And if none are found, the geometry level is used instead. So this is the default option. Okay, so another uh, selection resolution. So I'm going to click again one object. 
So right click. So let's try out geometry. So let's click geometry and then I'll just click outside. So when you say geometry, it makes the object path start from the geometry level in the selection tree, which is usually what we want to do. So if, if, if we only want to select this equipment here, so it will select that one there. Okay, it makes the object path start from the geometry level. So this geometry level is solid. So this object here, so that is a roofing. Okay, so this one here, what's this? So this one is solid as well. Okay, so this one here, it's a glass. Okay, so I'm going to change my resolution here to first object. So I'll just select first object. So I click again. So that it will tell me what is that particular, let's say, family in Revit. So usually, um, this is what I want to use, the first object. So that it will tell me what is that. So that one is basic roof. So what is this one? So that is an MRPC3 deciduous tree. Okay? So basically, that's how your selection resolution works. So you only you just need to select the object and right-click and then you just select here. What is the uh, selection resolution that you would like to do on a, a particular situation? Okay, so it's up to you. But usually, I just use here first object. Okay, but if you want to know what is that particular object is made of, let's say what's the geometry, then you use the geometry selection. So just right click, you just use uh, uh, set, re uh, set selection resolution to geometry. So you can click that one. So it will tell you what is that geometry. So that's uh, solid, made of solid. So this one here, so it's made of default roof. Okay, so this one is made of roofing EPDM membrane. But if you just want to know what is that particular family or element, okay, you just use the first object. So you click that one. So when you click an element, it will tell you what is that, not what it is made of. So it will tell you what is that. So that is a cooling tower. So this one, that is a roof. So this one, that's a tree, right? There you go. So that's how the set selection resolution works. Now, the other one is, is links. Okay, so links. So let's say, for example, I have this um, cooling tower here. So this one. So let's say I want to add a link here. So what is link? So if you want to add a link, so you can get a particular link from a particular website that you want to incorporate this particular uh, model that you have here. So let's say you want to point out to whoever opened this project, what is that particular um, object will going to be manufactured or where, it, where is it going to be manufactured? So you can put here the manufacturer's link, or you can also put a photo, how it, uh, how this will gonna be look like in the real world. So you can use a link, okay? So you can attach a link to your particular object just by going to your home tab and then selecting the links here. Just click that one, and then after that you will notice that Navisworks will show you all the links that is currently in this project that we have here. Okay? Now, if you want to add a particular link to this equipment here, so you can click that equipment, right-click, and then there's an option here, links. So let's say, for example, you want to put a link from the manufacturer's website so that the... Other team members will going to be familiarized or they will going to be visualized what is this going to be in the real world. Okay, so you just put a link there. Just select add link. Click that one. So you just put the name. So let's say this will going to be my cooling tower. Put the name there. And then this one. So you just put the link. So just click the ellipsis button if you know where to find it. Or if you already copy paste the link, so just... Or if you already copy the link, then you can just paste it here, like me. So I already copy that. So that's the paste. And then you can add a label here. You can change the label. 
So let's say I'll just put a hyperlink. That's the category hyperlink. So that's hyperlink. And then you can also specify here the attachment point. So where do you want to put the link? So I can select your add. And then let's say I want to put somewhere here. So I'm going to click that. There you go. So as you can see, I now have one attachment point. So I'm now going to select here. OK. And there you go. So there's now the link. So I can just click that one. So let me just show it to you on my screen. So, so here's my uh, internet. So I'm going to click this one. So see what will happen. So I'm going to click this one. And there you go. So it will open up the link. So if you have an internet connection, so automatically it will open up that link. So this is the cooling tower, let's say, for example, that I'm talking about. So this is our public website from uh, autodesk.com. Okay? Right. So another way is you can put a photo. So if you don't want to put a link, you can put a photo. So you can actually edit this link here. So just click the equipment, go to links, and then you can edit that. Okay, you just need to select that one. So this is our link. And then if you want, you can just delete that one. I don't want to edit. I just want to delete that because I want to add a new one, which is a photo. Okay, so this is our cooling hour. Okay, so instead of pasting the link here, so I'm going to select the file here. Ellipsis button. And then make sure you change this one. So if you have a photo... So change the file subtype to image. Click that one. So there's my image of cooling tower. So I'll just select here, open. And for the category, I'll just put a label, attachment point. I'll just select add. So I'll just put it here. And then I'll select here, OK. All right? And then I'll just select here, OK. There you go. So there's the cooling tower. So there's a label because I selected label. So when I click that one, it will open up the photo from your computer or from the network in your office. Okay, so basically that's how it works. So that's how you use your links here. So you can turn on, you can turn off, turn on. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. So that's how your uh, set selection resolution works and that's how your links works in navis works manage 2022 okay so there you go thank you for watching guys have a nice day